here's a day to talk about high impact exercises. And I just cringe when I see people doing these either in the gym or outside. And I'm here to kind of clear the air on why I have such resistance against them. So let's take uh, running on hard surfaces. There was a study, and I'll have it available if you ask, that wired runners uh, with uh, electrodes and they ran them on a treadmill and they measured the impacts of the brain. And they also wired uh, boxers and what they found was pretty amazing that the same spikes, the neurodynamic spikes for runners was similar to the boxers when they were struck with a hard jab. So again, these are traumatic. And keep in mind that what are we trying to do? We're trying to get healthy. So how we get the cardiovascular system healthy is to burn fat for fuel and get the metabolic process up. It's pretty simple. We have to have three things. We have to have water, a median chain fat, and oxygen. And we have to stay in aerobic activity. What does that mean? That simply means when we're exercising, we should be able to, and there's a much more technical way to determine this, but this is the easiest way, and I'm all for being easy. You want to be able to carry on a casual conversation when you're exercising. And what does that do? Once we get into a point where we're trying to catch our breath, we're going into what's called anaerobic exercise, acidosis. So what happens is the whole metabolic process shifts from burning fat for fuel into sugar and amino acids for fuel because the body is going into an, uh, an, uh, a non-oxygen or an anaerobic state. So the keys with exercise, if you like to run, I understand, run on grass or soft sand. Soft sand is the best. Uh, not only will it reduce z almost zero impact to your joints, it will create something called inhibition, or actually uh, lubricate your knees and your hips and all your uh, weight-bearing uh, joints. So it's phenomenal. But again, if you're running to be fit, we need to think about what our goal is. Is our goal is to impact the body with trauma? Or is our goal is to be healthy? Obviously, it's to be healthy. So what we want is the ratio. We want the risk to be here and our benefit to be here. Once we start putting in impactful exercises, kettlebells, running on hard surfaces, uh, squats with weights, all these types of things, now our risk goes up and our benefit begins to decline. So what usually happens with people, oh, in their 40s plus, they join a, a gym, they start getting trained, they show up for a week and they don't come back. And the statistics say it's about 85% because they either get injured, they're not getting the gains, or they're in such uh, pain from the workouts, they can't continue. So again, in previous videos, I talked about taking it slow, walking to your mailbox, walking, uh, you can keep your breath. Stay in, stay in aerobic activity. And that'll go far to increase your gains. And again, the goal is to do what? Drop your body fat, get in shape, be healthier, see your blood work improve. That's the goal. So we have to keep our eye on the prize, not on the short-term things that the media wants us to believe that are beneficial. So I hope that's been helpful.